Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the wallet management app by Webkul for Shopify. So for this app, you need to first install it. So from the app section of your Shopify store, visit the Shopify app store. Now search for the wallet management here click on the name of the app click on add app now you have to click on install app button You need to approve the charges of the app. This app comes with a 7 days free trial period and after 7 days you have to pay for the app. So click on start free trial. After the confirmation and all the details, your app will be listed in the app section of your Shopify store. From here, you need to click on the app's name. Here you will land on the home page of the app. Now on this page, you will have all the statics like the pie chart and the order statics, the recent orders and you can filter them according to week, month or year. Here is the notification panel. Here you have the order statics. Here you will have the details of the recent 10 orders which were done through the wallet. Here you have the navigation buttons for configuration, cashback rules, wallet customer as well as FAQ. So let's see how to configure this app. Click on the configuration menu. This app further four sections. First section is the general configuration. In the general configuration you have to enter the domain name of your store your business email ID, the transaction charges that you want to apply, it will be in percentage. You have, you can upload a shop logo. Next you have an option where it says, do you want to refund customers amount to his or her wallet? If you want to refund the amount to their wallet, then you can enable this option. Second is, do you want to allow the customers to transfer wallet amount to other wallets. If you want that your customers should transfer the their wallet amount to other wallets as well, then you can enable this option. Next you have, do you want to send email for verify before transfer amount to the wallet? So before transferring amount to the, someone's wallet, do you want them to verify it by sending an email? Then we have an option over here which says enable partial pay through wallet. So for enabling this option, you have to disable this option that says allow customers to add money into their wallets. So if you disable this option, then only you can enable this option. So what this option actually means that suppose we have an order of uh, a customer pays uh, an order of uh, 200 rupees and here you have set the percentage to be 10. So that particular customer can pay for the order price using his wallet only the 10% amount and the rest amount should be paid by him via cash or any other payment method that he is using. So that is that uh, here which one is given more priority on cashback. So suppose a customer places an order with two different products and uh, uh, both the products have different cashbacks on them so one has a larger cashback amount and the other product has a lesser amount so which one do you prefer to have cashback on uh, should he be eligible for minimum cashback or for maximum cashback after doing the configuration just click on the save button next we have label configuration here you can change the front end labels Second, you have the mail configuration. Here you can change the mail content that will be sent to your customers. 
like the amount credit mail amount debit mail cash cashback amount amount refunded email verification and auto amount credited all these mails will be sent to your customer and you can configure or change the content of the mail from here from this section last is the theme configuration you can adjust the theme of the um, con um, wallet management app for the front end from here coming to the cashback rules here you will have a list of all the cashbacks that you have added and allowed in your store. From here you can enable or disable the app, uh, the cashback rule. You can delete or edit the cashback rule from action menu. Now let's see how to add a rule. Click on add rule. Then enter the duration, the validity period for which the cashback rule will be present on your store. Now the cashback can be added on product cut as well as promotion so if I talk about product then you have to select the product from there then add product select the products from the draw the menus that you are seeing over here and click on add the following products will be listed over here now you can choose if you want to have a fixed cashback price on them or a percentage and then enter the amount value and cl click on save next you can even have cashback on cart for cart you need to set a target amount like uh, if the cart value is 500 only then you the customer will be eligible for the cashback so if you write the target amount like 500 then uh, now customer if your customer is having an amount of 500 on their card then they can be eligible for the cashback and similarly you can choose it as fixed or percentage enter the amount and save lastly we have another cashback rule which is for promotion promotion is for only new users like whenever a new you customer subscribes to your channel to your store or uh, um, be a new customer then you can provide them a fixed amount of cashback to them like whenever they came to your store for the first time then you can provide them for say 100 rupees cashback and say this is just a promotional cashback now next uh, the added cashbacks will be listed over here and you can similarly as I said edit or delete them if you click on the edit button you will have the same following panel you cannot change the cashback uh, priority like you cannot change it from cart to product or promotion etc you can change the time duration the target amount the cashback option like percentage of fixed and the amount and then click on save to save the changes now coming on the wallet customer panel here you will have a detail of customer name, their email and their wallet transaction details like how much current amount is there in their wallet and uh, what, what was the date on which the last transaction happened from the, their account. From here you can view all the other details like this customer doesn't have any details so let's see this customer. When you click on the view details then you, here you can uh, see like when he added amount on his wallet when how much he spent and when he spent or when he added and what type of transaction it is is it wallet or is it cashback so this is all about that and you can even add amount to the customer's wallet just click on the add amount button and then enter the value of the amount money that you want to add in that particular customer's wallet and if you want to deduct the money from his wallet then you have to enter a negative value like minus 40 then minus 40 will be deducted from that customer's wallet now coming on the how to import customers for that you need to click on the import customer button here enter the dates from which to which you want the customer to be added to your app then click on import so this is how the customers will be imported to your wallet management app here we have wallet orders here will be uh, given a list of all the customers and their wallet transaction details like uh, and when you click on this ID particular ID then it will take you to the particular order which was placed by the customer and paid using their wallet so this is how it works 
next we have the refund request here you will have a list of all the refund requests that was made by your customers so the one that were refunded will be have the status of success and the one that are pain pending will be in pending state and you can just click on the refund amount button and just click on yes I'm sure and the particular amount will be refunded to that particular customer it's that easy then next we have the transfer detail it will have the detail of all the customers and their transfer detail like which customer transferred how much amount to which wallet so let's see uh, like test web call has transferred to demo web call an amount of dollar 550 on this particular date so here you will have a list of all the customer transfer amount from the wallets last we have here the FAQ section if the admin wants to add frequently asked questions related to the wallet to put on the front end then he can do so by clicking on add FAQ write the title write the description sequence and add so this particular FAQ will be displayed on the front end for the cus for the customers so if they have any query related to the uh, wallet like how to use it how to transfer money or, or anything else then he can simply go to the FAQ section on the front end and have a look at the FAQs now let's see how to configure the front end now click on the configure front end button here you will have the list of all the codes that you need to paste in your liquid files so like uh, for showing cashback on product page for showing wallet information for showing cashback on product collection page then showing cashback on the card page and other pages so uh, according to that you just need to click here and you will see a demo of how you can paste the code and in which file you need to paste the code so like for particular this section like to show cashback on the product description page you need to paste this particular code in the product template.liquid file and just uh, to move to the product uh, template liquid file just click on this option and you will land on the product template dot liquid file and you just simply need to paste the code and then save and that's it it's that easy now let's see how it works on the front end Suppose this is the front end and let's just create a customer Now let's just log in as a customer on the front end Now the customer will have all the details as shown here in there account section so in the account section they will have the wallet status like the amount currently present in their wallet here they can transfer amount for transferring amount they need to enter the email ID of the other customer and the amount which they want to transfer and then click on transfer money below that they will have the order history which order they have placed and which order they didn't then here you will have the wallet transaction history like all the payments that were done using your the wallet of that particular customer here you can request for refund and this particular request will be listed in the request uh, refund request section here they will uh, they can see if the re request is accepted or if it is in pending state by watching the status then we have the wallet transfer history it will give you the like this particular customer has transferred this particular amount to this particular customer on this particular date last is the wallet FAQ here he will have the FAQ details of uh, how to use the app and other information you can the admin can even create a menu for that so this was pretty much everything about the wallet management app i hope you understood it and uh, thanks for watching